So we deployed up to RAF Base Darwin. We brought up 11 aircraft, again with another eight Growler aircraft operating as an 82 wing combined unit. And we've been focused on graduating our air warfare instructors that fly both the Super Hornet and the Growler as part of the um, Air Force's air warfare instructor course. The last four weeks have been known as um, Diamond Storm, which is the penultimate exercise that looks at multi-force integration um, with the joint force to ensure that we have tactical leaders that can take us forward as we uh, um, grow our air force in uh, a more modern war fighting capacity. On average day up here on exercise for an air crew goes for about 12 hours and it normally starts with the mission commander's brief as they brief the whole package on the mission, then breaks down into the formation brief before we go flying for typically a two to three hour mission involving anywhere refueling, dropping live weapons, um, and then going through the uh, different mission profiles that we've been tasked to achieve. We then complete it with a um, uh, reviewing our tapes of what happened, going to the debrief, and then uh, drawing out all the lessons that happened that day before doing that again the next day, then the next day. It's an immense achievement. You put your heart and soul into the course. Your family puts their um, time into it as well because it's a huge, uh, huge devotion of duty um, and a massive achievement in technical mastery on whichever platform that the air warfare instructors are training on. In, in my case, it'll be on the, uh, on the Rhino. They will get back from their final mission and probably just have an, an incredible um, sense of relief and achievement uh, knowing that they've achieved such a, a remarkable milestone in their career. On Saturday, we'll be arriving back at Amberley, um, performing what we know as a dawn strike. It actually starts on Friday where we'll, um, some of our aircraft will transit um, back to Amberley and then we'll have six aircraft that'll transit over to Townsville and overnight Townsville so we can um, get up bright and early, pre-dawn on Saturday morning. We'll take off uh, before the sun is up and we will meet a bunch of adversary aircraft to the west of Amberley for uh, the final mission and after that we'll come back for arrivals into Ambly, meeting our uh, family and friends that uh, will be you know, super pleased to see their loved ones as they've been away, not only for four weeks up here, but devoted to a course that's consumed their life for the last six months. I think it will be less nerves, more exhilaration and happiness. They'll just be very, very excited to, uh, for, for the whole day, from departing Townsville very early on Saturday morning to uh, having their last opportunity to engage what we call red air and then coming back for some low arrivals into Amberley, taxi in to meet their families at the aircraft and uh, I think there'll be lots of tears and hugs to be honest all around. So we'll be bringing up the 18 aircraft back into Amberley. They'll all come back for what we call a low initial and pitch but we'll be doing that as uh, trying to prevent as much noise as we possibly can noting that we're flying a you know a very loud aircraft We'll be doing standard arrivals from outside the base and then descending to low level um, as we approach the runway. We'll be up to you know 450 knots down to 250 feet above the the, uh, the ground and uh, doing a close initial and pitch to minimise that noise profile. But also, um, I think it's an exciting opportunity for local residents to see from uh, the base boundaries um, a whole lot of fast jet aircraft arriving on a Saturday morning, which they normally wouldn't have the opportunity to see. It's going to be fantastic. This is my third one that I've been involved in and uh, coming back with the, the young students and all the instructors flying in those formations, um, taxiing in to the squadron with all the families and friends waiting to see them get out of the aircraft. It, it, it's, just, it's just an amazing experience and you know, it just shows that you know, hard work pays off and I think we're going to see that on Saturday morning.